yo welcome back guys to another video uh, i know it's been a while again but i've been updating void strap a ton and i just wanted to let y'all know that i found tons of different methods tons of different ways to improve void strap make it better and i want to show you guys the features that i added and improved and way more stuff that i did and yeah let's see right into it all right, so I'd like to show you guys my favorite settings that I like to use for this new update that I just came out with not even like 16 hours ago. So yeah, let's get right into it. What I like to do, I like to go and turn on player message logs. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. I like to see who joins my game and the message that they send. Also, I like to go ahead and go down to RPC settings and I like to go ahead and turn on server location, turn off game name because it's a little bit too long in my opinion. And I also like to turn off this. This just displays if you're on a private server or not. Most people don't know this, but Roblox did remove fast flags. So I added an option to add an FPS unlocker to you guys' game that does not use fast flags at all. And it literally just helps out performance uh, and stuff like that. Now for deployment, this is really like self-explanatory because basically help Roblox connect servers and stuff in optimization. It may seem like bloat, but it does work. Trust me, I went over this. I went like over this about like a hundred times over and trust me guys it does work everything here does work it's just in works because i'm still working on everything in here basically but i added a safe overclock this update because a lot of you guys were asking for gpu stuff i don't know why why not cpu but yeah i added that also cleaner it cleans logs that are located in your void strap directory so basically just that if you guys have low storage just go ahead and enable this after one day and just enable everything here if you guys want to this is roblox logs these are voice drive logs roblox logs are located in your roblox temp folder they are located in percent local app data percent and yeah basically that game settings is i'll actually go over this later i'll leave a timestamp up above because this is really hard to explain and some people don't even get it they don't even know anything about this, but I'll leave a timestamp up above. All right, so for mods, I added some new things like potato graphics. I'll uh, show an image of what this does, like before and after what this does to the game itself. But yeah, basically that. I added a ton more stuff like crosshair presets and way more. This is kind of getting old now, so I might change it later on, but that's it for modifications. I'm not going over mod generator because it it sucks okay i'm gonna rework it i don't really know when but that's probably not gonna be soon though. trap you guys may see these these are presets that i added to make sure that everything works you guys may think why is there logs log uh fast flags inside of here well basically uh if you guys go to integrations this kind of stuff like right here this stuff up here some of this stuff will not work at all like player logs will not work because it needs to log to get the actual logs itself you know so basically that that's what these do without these that option right there would not work none of that would work no server location would work without these okay some people from the old video maybe like where is check system specs it's down here now i moved it i thought it looked way better and personally it does in my opinion but basically this update i did a whole lot to ixp i like it's hard to explain so basically i'll show an image of above of what it does and also explain it to you right here but IXP, this update, I made it to where it literally changes last second to your fast flags that you want to apply. So then it goes back to normal. So the Roblox won't detect it if you are using XMP or not. This this hasn't been tested at all as much, but it does revert to last step. It's hard to explain, but basically it makes the ban chance probably way less lower. We don't understand it yet, but once Roblox adds the ban features to it, then we'll have a whole lot of things to talk about all right so for global settings this is a new feature i added this update really uh you guys are gonna have to add your own stuff into here because like it's hard to explain some people like having their own stuff on whatever they're like but basically this is my stuff you guys want to copy i like this kind of stuff i sometimes even like large large looks sick in my opinion i like it it just makes it easier to see so i like it sometimes all right so very important for uh, for global theme and appearance i actually updated appearance a lot like i updated the code inside preview people don't know this i actually didn't log it at all inside the github but i actually updated preview the code of it and the launcher code 
and the language code as well. I'm actually gonna update it even more because there's some stuff I need to fix. And I actually, I added, I added a purple theme to Void Strap that I actually like, which you guys are gonna have to actually save this and relaunch Void Strap so it actually applies. This is my favorite color, so I had to add it. I don't know why it wasn't added before. I just hadn't had an idea of adding more colors because personally the UI doesn't matter in a bootstrapper, so it's whatever performs best, so. All right, so now we're going to the help page. This isn't really new. It's actually been in Void Strap. People don't even know this. It's actually been in Void Strap forever. Like forever, forever. I added this a way long time ago. I just decided to add it as a page because one, I couldn't get the URLs. So I literally had to look up. I had to dig through everything just to find perfect URLs for it. Some of these URLs are not perfect. They don't work as good, but at least it does help some people. Okay, so for settings, I'm not gonna really go over this because it's not really hard to explain. I'm gonna leave the video on the top for you guys to actually, I actually explain this a whole lot. I also explain what NVIDIA filter does and everything else. This update, I also fixed channels because it was bugging, it wasn't applying the channels. So now it does, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, so basically, let's say if we join a game real quick, I'm gonna show you guys a new feature that I added for game history. If I go ahead and leave the game and I go back to game history, it will show my game history. This is kind of buggy for right now, but I will fix it. Don't worry. It doesn't show this for people, but yeah. Basically that, it saves every data that you guys have. Now, Blockstrap, please fix this because I had to fix it myself. Basically, if you clicked on rejoin, it would not at all work. It would just close the bootstrapper. It wouldn't even join the game that you guys played. So we also added deep links so you guys can actually go ahead and paste it into your browser and just join the game manually. But who's fun in that when you had a rejoin button? Maybe if you want your friends to join you, I don't know. I'll actually explain deep links here right now. Deep links are basically the links to join the game without the play button. If you guys have an instance ID, this is an instance ID right here. It will join the certain server that you guys joined last time. Even if it's a different server location, it will be still be the same server that you guys joined last time. Because Roblox likes to change servers, server locations, sometimes here and there. So yeah, that's basically that. I also went ahead and added your server location. I made it way better. I made say or like more details about your location and actual stuff, but that's basically that. I also made it display your uh, players in game. <laughs> People told me this is not a recommended feature to add, but I actually kind of like it and I like to see who's in my game or not. I might make it to where like it also displays what friends are in your game. I don't know yet. But yeah, basically that. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the game settings that I was gonna talk about earlier, but I decided to delay it for now. Basically, if you guys wanna join a certain game without saving and launching and going to the game yourself, uh, all you guys have to do is copy the game ID from up here and then just paste it inside here. And then you guys can add certain instance IDs. I'll actually go over this in just one second. But basically, if you guys click on save, save game or a launch game, my bad. <laughs> and you guys go ahead and launch the game. Then it will just go ahead and launch the game without doing anything else and just like without saving the game and launching all right so now i'm gonna go over the instance id all right so to get the instance id you guys are gonna have to go down here go down to voice trap this is what i recommend copy invite deep link exit out of here and i recommend pasting inside your search bar i might add a way to get the instance id way more easier but for now just copy from right here and then all you guys gotta do is just paste it into here. And yeah, basically you guys, what this does, it will join that same server that you guys were just in. And basically just go off of that. Place ID from here. Paste it into here. And just save it. And then uh, launch game or launch and deploy. I don't really recommend launch and deploy because there's some issues. Like if you launch a game with Roblox Studio, it will still launch it with this and it's kind of goofy. So I don't really recommend it. Only launch a game from here. That's really it for me. I'm actually really sick right now. So I'm very sorry if I stuttered a whole lot in this video because I'm really sick and I've been coughing a whole lot. This whole entire video, I've really been coughing a whole lot because I'm so sick at the point where I just want to sleep. But yeah, I've been just working on the strap. I haven't really slept in like the past three days or something like that. But thank you guys for supporting me and helping me with void strap with all your suggestions i love you guys peace you smiled at her again today a spark behind your pretty eye don't you know that kind of play could make a girl go mad